All right, uh, that might have been a little bit of a clickbait title, um, but we are fixing a bad idea. So I put these baking sheets underneath here to catch the sparks. And uh, the reason it's a bad idea is uh, they're aluminum, so they can't handle the heat. I'm not sure steel would be able to handle the heat any better, but they warp and they're very difficult to get in and out. They do catch the sparks. Um, the other thing is they're so shallow, they can't, you can't put water in there. So. Um, between those two things, this was a bad idea. The other factor is the brackets that hold them um, keep the table from folding up fully. So first thing I'm going to do today is remove those. Um, the other thing we're going to do is an experiment, uh, a cheap materials experiment, experiment um, orchestrated by my wife. She went to the dollar store and found these. So she's convinced that I can cut the spinners out of this cheap dollar store baking pans and um, and the work. So we'll try that after that. First thing is uh, gonna remove these pans from this table. Okay, so I got those old brackets removed and uh, that's all cleaned up, but now we're on to an experiment. Um, after my wife declared that you can get those hard spinners at the dollar store, she went to verify what she said and she found out that they're much cheaper and the one we made, the one I made um, is a much better uh, spinner, heavier and everything. But while she was there, she found these guys, dollar store cookie sheets or baking sheets. Yeah, these things are thin, I think, and they're like 26 gauge. Um, but I told her I'd give it a shot and see what I could do with them. She says the metal that I use for the spinner is heavier than it needs to be, but I think these will just flap in the wind if I can even cut them without melting them. But anyway, we'll give it a shot. So I'm just going to cut the heart spinner out on here. I drew a shamrock spinner, but it doesn't quite fit on these. They're kind of tiny. The heart just barely didn't fit. So when I loaded it, I loaded it into the arc droid. Um, you, right on the arc droid, you can set the scale. So even though I loaded the G-code, which has a lot of stuff built into it, I changed the scale to 0.95 to shrink it just a hair. So it may not be ideal because that shrinks everything. So some of those pieces of metal that were bending to make the spinner will be smaller now. But we'll see what happens. I just want to see how it cuts on this material. So. That's the experiment for today. Let's we'll see if we can find a cheaper source of metal. Uh, the 16 gauge that I've been cutting the spinners and stuff out of, uh, at the local, I buy remnants when I can at the local steel supply shop here in my town. And that last piece was a uh, two, two foot by four foot piece. And um, it came to almost well, 11 50, 12 bucks a, a square foot. Each one of those spinners or squirrel feeders is roughly a square foot. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but a buck would be better, right? So uh, we'll give it a shot and see what this hap or what happens when I try it. And uh, worst case, I waste a buck on, on the material. So we'll get it going, see what happens. So like I said, it's the same spinner project that I did on a recent video. And so you can hit trace and then change the scale of it, which is what I did. So. 0.9 I'll hit the so this stuff's like 26 gauge so you can see the feed rate is almost it's double what I've been running for the 16 gauge so but everything else is the same and the uh, cut 60 will be running 20 amps so let's see what happens okay so got the plasma started um, this is I didn't change anything this is all set up and ready to go all you gotta do is enable the torch. Get my shade so I can watch whatever happens. And we'll run it.
All right, so I, I don't know if we call this a success or not. I mean, it is an experiment. So if we learn anything at all, I guess that makes it successful, but this is very thin stuff. I mean, maybe it is 26 gauge. Uh, I could go find my metal gauge and check it, but I mean, this is like tin foil. I don't know if I could even bend it. And the piercing spots, I mean, really burned it up. So the little pieces of metal that hold it down the spine here, well, two things. Uh, it, it burned up some of the metal, but also since I shrunk it, you know, it's 95.95 scale. It's uh, a smaller space anyway. But I'll see if I can bend it. It's easier to bend than the 16 gauge, that's for sure. I could probably get something out of this. Um, I can't say that I recommend that as a source of material. If you're going to cut something flat out, you know, uh, something to hang on the wall, maybe, maybe that would work. But for something like this, I'm kind of thinking it's not quite heavy enough. But anyway, so there, there's our experiment on cheap metal. Um, still looking for a cheap source of metal. I don't consider this one very good unless, like I said, you're just cutting out an animal shape or some something that you're going to just hang on the wall maybe put some paint on it and hang it on the wall but um, anyway so that's what I know about using a cookie sheet from the dollar store for uh, cheap plasma material okay I'm done with the uh, cheap metal source from the dollar store um, experiment and I decided it would be a shame to have this machine out and not cut something. And since I drew the shamrock drawing already, uh, we'll go ahead and cut out the shamrock spinner out of 16 gauge. And we'll see what it looks like. I uh, may not like it, I don't know, but it doesn't hurt to cut it. And uh, the metal's already paid for, right? So let's see what comes out of that. Okay, I got this all leveled out and uh, zeroed, so it's ready to cut. Um, got the same 16 gauge settings, 110 inches per minute. Um, 30 amps on the prime weld cut 60 and uh, we should be ready to go so let's see what happens All right, so there's the shamrock spinner that I drew and cut out. It's pretty clean. Um, that one thing I did different on this cut is I did lower the air pressure. I've been running a uh, 70, and uh, I set it to 55 because that's the specs for my prime weld cut 60, and uh, just to see if it had made a difference. Air compressor's unloading, um, and it, I mean the cuts are clean, so. I I like that number. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, knock some of the dross off of here and then uh, we can bend it up and see what it looks like. Alright, so the shamrock spinner cleaned up pretty good. When it was a drawing, I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. Now that it's cut out, I think I like it a little bit better. 
Um, let's bend it and see if I like it. It's, if I still like it. All right, so there we go. I may have to come up with a better way to bend those things. Besides my not as strong as they used to be hands, but there we go, shamrock spinner. Unfortunately, I don't have any shamrock green paint because I never had a need for it, but uh, I'll have to let my wife deal with that, pick up some paint and uh, get this guy painted. All right. All right, that's it for today. A uh, little bit of a clickbait. Um, I did fix a mistake on my table. Um, the spark arrestor catcher pans weren't, it was a bad idea. Don't use cookie sheets, uh, probably a water bath, something deeper like a sink would be better. Um, I may work on that at a future date, but for now we'll just continue to let the sparks hit the floor. Um, and we did an experiment on a cookie sheet from a dollar store. That stuff's, I mean, 26 gauge at the best. And uh, it cut okay, but it's so flimsy. It's like, you know, cutting, cutting out of aluminum foil. I, I don't think it's, it definitely isn't good for a spinner. If you're just cutting out shapes for, to hang on the wall, you know, horses for your daughter's bedroom or something. Uh, maybe that makes sense. Uh, and then I cut out a shamrock um, spinner that I drew up the other day. And it came out better than I thought it would as far as, I mean, I wasn't thrilled with the drawing, but it came out pretty good. I'll have my wife paint it green and we'll get it put up. But um, anyway, uh, if, if if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I can probably make this, or I can definitely make this drawing available. Um, for other people to cut it out. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this week. And uh, if you want to support the channel, go to the store. It's linked in the in the description, and you can pick up some drawings, uh, merchandise, hat, whatever. And as always, uh, like and subscribe, and please comment. Comments are great. I like to answer the questions. Uh, if you know something I obviously don't know, uh, let me know. I'm here to learn too. That's why we did the experiments today. So. Anyway, I appreciate you watching.